Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So I am taking a look at one that's more one of my uh, regional breweries. This is from the Brew Kettle out of Strongsville, Ohio. This is their major lager, premium lager. You can see the iconic skull on the uh, label here, which should remind you of something that came out back in the day, maybe a movie. Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a major league. They got away with using that there as their kind of logo. So uh, kind of uh, caught my eye when I saw it there. This has 4.5% uh, ABV, 9.9 .9 IBU. It says crispy, clean, refreshing, and then just the Brew Kettle Strongsville, Ohio. Nice pint-sized can, independent label in the house on the can as well. Let's get this baby into a glass, see what it has to offer. On a day like this where we're getting a good amount of humidity and heat, Nice to have a refreshing lager for show. Get this poured into the glass. All right, so there we go. Got a nice little head on it. Get it that way for you. Slide it to the side. To the right, to the right. Nice clarity on the beer, as you can see. I got to tell you, ever since I got back into just uh, hand washing the glasses like you should do with beer glasses, and let them air dry. It's been a nice, nice glassware, I must say. Um, you don't have any of that soap residue from the dishwasher, which is nice. Came out about two finger head, now it's down to one finger head. Uh, sits pretty much dead on white in color. Just like any lager, it's gonna, gonna kind of fade out rather quickly. Do have some nice carbonation bubbles, you can see rising there to the top. Oh, nice aroma on it. I can dig this one here. You get a nice feel of some of the malts in there. You get a little bit of that yeastiness or yeasty aroma, I should say. I don't know if yeastiness is really a word or not, but it's got that nice crisp clean to it, feel to it as well. And what I'll say is it's not as barnyard like as some of the other lagers I tend to come across. It's really got a nice aroma to it. Not overly done. You still get the nice feel of the malty yeast as I mentioned there. So it really stacks nicely for this one. Let's get the taste. Tell you what, on a hot day, this one has a nice feel to it. Taste wise, on the finish, I'm actually picking up some of the hops there. You get a nice feel of kind of a um, an earthy type tone. No bitterness really. Again, we're dealing with the lager here and it's only 9.9 .9 IBU, so it's got a nice smoothness to it. You get more of that malt sweetness in the beer, but it's not overly sweet, but it gives you a nice feel on the back end of a nice touch touch of the hops duration of the flavor it's about average it hangs out for a little bit and then it kind of just dissipates from there very light in body good texture on it not getting a feel of someone like to say the adjunct type lagers it's got a nice quality to it in that texture carbonation sits very nice on this one not over carbonated in any way I can now feel as I'm halfway down this first glass the uh, flavors there in the cheek area very easily. This is just a perfect one for something of a nice hot day when you want to kick back. You know, it's got the, the major lager. If you're at a baseball game, wouldn't be a bad one to have there as well. Four and a half percent puts you right in the session range, so you're not going to get too uh, lit up. But a nice quality refreshing beer. I dig this one. Again, this is the Brew Kettle Major Lager out of Strongsville, Ohio. If you've had this one out there, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about this one. I really dig it. I, this one of the uh, better lagers I think I've actually enjoyed in a while. For me, I think it hits a nice spot. It's right where it should be. A nice pleasure uh, feel to it. So for me, I'm going to give this one a 4.25 out of 5. I think it's just got everything I would want to have in a nice little bit of lager. Not enough to really set itself, you know, to the higher echelon of some of the things I look at in the beer world, but definitely one that is a very, very, very nice put together beer. Thanks for checking out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw. If so, hit that like button. And of course, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Remember to also hit that bell if you need to be notified when I do uploads. That all being said, I appreciate your time. Look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on.